Hi everybody, this is Julie with Just Julie and I have a fun project here that I am going to show you and it's going to be quick and easy on how to make your own custom little water bottles. You can get these water bottles that are BPA free right at your local dollar store and of course at Target or any other stores they'll have them there. So this is just a little emblem here that I got on the silhouette and I think I just looked up like polka, polka dot circle but then these came up or polka dotted tags and this came up. So what you need to do, it's called weeding if you're unfamiliar with that term. And weeding just means that you're going to go through, and it's kind of hard to see, but let me see if you see it in here, if the light hits it correctly. I'm hoping that you can pick it up here. There is a pattern in, in here of the little dots. And so you need to take your tweet. what I find is your tweezer bees that work the best for this. But I've seen people use also like a... Um, can't remember, not a toothpick, but something along those lines that, that has a nice point to it because that is really great for these little small areas. So basically you're just going to go in where you see them and you're just going to lift them up here. So I'm just going to do a few of these. I don't need to do them all on camera because you guys get the, the um, idea here, you know, how to do it. So anyway, you're just going to pick them all through until it ends up like this where there's just... Um, all of them that have been selected out those cute little polka dots there so um, then you're gonna get some transfer paper so I'm gonna go grab that real quick so this is what I'm using as my transfer paper and transfer paper you you can get at Michaels Joann's and Hobby Lobby and stores like that however someone mentioned on one of the blogs where you can use Walmart contact paper and so that's what I started using because it is so much cheaper it is like five something a roll and you get so much of it so anyway and I've never had an issue with it now I've heard other people say well it leaves a sticky residue I personally have never had an issue with it so I'm happy with how it works for me so what you're going to do is just peel this off and so you're going to remove this gridded side and you're left with a sticky side so what I'm going to do is just lay the sticky side over this design here. Just going to rub that in. And then you can either use um, a debit card or something like that to rub this in. And I do have an, a silhouette item. This is the silhouette scraper that I have. And this works really good. But if you don't have one of these, no big deal. You can just use, like I said, one of your debit cards or one of those you know, store grocery cards work well too. So what you're going to do is just peel this up and what I'm going to do is go ahead, normally you don't have the backing but because I made this so much larger, I can tell here where my design is. So I'm just going to trim this closer. It's nice to trim it closer because then you really can see where you're going to be lying this down. I'm going to leave this because it will just help me peel this apart easily by having a little bit of a um, way to pull this off. See how nice that pulls off there? So there's that, and here's my little water bottle. I'm going to kind of look at the center here. And let's see, I think this looks good if I just put this right in the center here. This is nice because it's kind of arched in the center of this. So it'll kind of, like it goes in like a little waistline would go in. So it does help you a little bit to kind of eyeball this. So I am hope I'm doing a good job. And what I like to do is go right in the center and then go down one side slowly. Just rub that all in. There we go. Especially on a curved surface like this. And then you're going to go slowly down the other side like that. And usually speaking, hopefully this is my first time doing this on camera with this particular item. Usually speaking it sticks really well. So let's hope I'm right. This looks like it's going to stick really well. Great. Okay. So there's that. And normally speaking, if you're doing any type of vinyl on an item that goes in the dishwasher, normally what I say is handmade, hand wash. So that's just a rule of thumb that I use. So um, you know what? Since this is still a little sticky, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to in this case because um, why not? I'm going to see if this works. So you guys are going to try something new with me right now. And what I'm looking for is, I did cut out little initials of my kids. I'm trying to find that right here. Okay, so I found the little initial here. And this is going to be A for my son Austin. And I'm going to 
weed this out so you just take out the little part out of the center add that right there and now you're going to be using the sticky thing again that I have normally like I said I don't do that but since it's so sticky and it's sitting right here I'm just going to use it for convenience sake and again use your little scraper right on here but what a cute little I'm putting this in their Easter baskets but what a cute little idea just to make it something customized for them so there's the A and I can see right through this so I'm happy with being able to see through and line this up properly so I'm just going to center this on here as best that I can that looks pretty good I think again in the center then down the sides I'm going to rub that on like that and this is so neat because it's going to leave it cus customized for them so isn't that so cute and how fast was that you guys that project went super super quick so really fast. I did the same way I did their Easter baskets. I'm going to show those to you real fast. I've already made them, but I'm just going to show you how it is to, um, how they look. And it's so cute to do these all personalized like that for them. So this is Austin's little Easter basket that I'm working on. And it's got his name on a cute little orange pail that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I did it in a different font here, but I just, I love the way that it looks. I think it turns out super cute. And then of course... I'm going to fill this with some more little um, jelly beans in here and add that to his Easter basket. But I just think it's so sweet and something personal just for him. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and have a fabulous Easter, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.